What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. Here it is. Finally, Tesla has dropped that new holiday release for 2021, and the actual software version is 2021.44.25.2 or 2021.44.25.6 if you are running FSD beta. Here it is. Prominent first new feature, the light show. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at what came in this holiday update in a 2021 refresh model s now i want to preface this with a lot of the new user elements on version 11 which this for sure is is going to be more so obvious on a model 3 and make sure to smash that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel so you know when we do our video for this full self-driving beta on our model 3 with this new version 11 change that actually gives a lot of the new user interface to our model 3. having said that first things first is that light show this is kind of a fun little toy box edition for this year what it's going to do is it says it's going to watch your tesla dance to a choreographed light show any time of year open toy box tap light show and follow the instructions we will be doing that in the model 3 video as well for you guys but for now what this is meant to do is mimic what the uh, Model X has had for years without obviously all the automatic door openings because none of the other models have that except for the S. And it will play um, a orchestra style music along with showing the lights off. You finally do have one of the most requested features here and that is the blind spot camera. This will now allow you to automatically see a live view of your blind spot whenever you activate the turn signal. And to enable, you're going to tap controls, autopilot, automatic blind spot cameras. So whenever you actually put the left or right blinker on, you will get a little pop-up block on the user interface with that camera to show your side repeaters. Huge, huge addition. It's been asked for a long time, almost as long as waypoints have, uh, since obviously a lot of older car manufacturers have actually had this. It's good to see Tesla finally releasing it. Now as well, you can edit waypoints. You can now reorder your multiple stops in addition to obviously having waypoints that were just given to us prior. It's telling you how to add a stop or edit a trip, uh, initiate a navigation route, and tap the more options button on the turn list. So this is helpful if you ever wanna add an additional stop or you wanna reorganize which order you're going in uh, along the way. So again, a small addition, but it is one very happy to have. Boombox Megaphone. So another toy box edition here. This is actually going to allow you to project your voice with additional authority using the new megaphone function. Tap toy box, boom box, megaphone, and it is letting you know your car must be in park to do this. So for those of you that don't know, obviously a lot of the newer models do have that pedestrian warning speaker at the bottom. As it uses with the Sentry Mode Live View now, you can project your voice through there. Now they're allowing you to do it in the app on the car as well. Again, a fun little improvement. It should be, should be fun to scare people that don't know about what this has and to use that feature. Next up, TikTok. So now you're able to watch TikTok from your touchscreen. To launch, you're gonna tap the theater icon from the bottom bar and select TikTok while the car is in park. Uh, pretty interesting addition. We all know how uh, how sus some TikTok content could be. So kind of kind of shocking Tesla added this here, but hey, more choices is always good. Plus what other way to spend your endless time than swiping? <clears throat> Next up, we heard about Sonic coming. Here it is we can actually jump into the original Sonic game right in the Tesla. As you can see, it says you can jump into the original Sonic the Hedgehog, speed by in a blur using the supersonic spin attack at high speeds, display, display, <clears throat> excuse me, defy gravity and loop the loop and defeat Dr. Eggman as the fastest hedgehog of all time. Gotta go fast. One call out for this from what I've learned and what I was reading, you do have to have a game controller in order to use this. I don't believe you can just use the steering wheel or the touchscreen as you could in some of the other games. You do have multiplayer support now, finally, <clears throat> for the, the Battle of Polytopia. You have some Sudoku improvements. And I think this is more unique to the new S and X. You actually can have comfort dampening suspension in autopilot. 
So with this now, your vehicle will now automatically transition to comfort suspension dampening when autopilot is engaged. The setting is enabled by default. To disable it, go to controls, suspension, use comfort dampening in autopilot. What this is, is this the car will actually automatically rise and lower for you depending on how it reads the uh, road and the pavement. So if it thinks that it is not very smooth, it'll raise the ride up to give you a more comfortable ride. Pretty cool improvement there. Next up, you're going to have your traditional cold weather improvements. It's now uh, saying you can precondition the cabin from your Tesla app when the battery is at a lower state of charge. Simply turn on the climate from your Tesla app and override the previous setting by tapping yes on the confirmation pop-up window. It is letting you know to protect your car's battery. Climate will remain unavailable under extreme low charge scenarios. So we don't have a percentage of what that extreme uh, low battery percentage is, but you can anticipate it's going to be within 5 to 10%, possibly even 10. Um, this feature does require the new Tesla mobile app 4.4.0 or later. I'm assuming at this point everyone's probably riding with that because there's a 4.4.1. And now finally yesterday they just released a 4.4.2 as well. So make sure to update your app for that. This is a welcome improvement too for managing dash cam clips. Uh, I don't know about you guys. I get a lot of false positive readings on here sometimes. And you're just sitting with 40, 50, 60 um, sentry mode clips recorded that were nothing. So now they're letting you easily delete all dash cam video clips directly from the touchscreen by tapping controls, safety, dash cam, delete dash cam clips. Hide map details. Simplify your navigation app and hide map details by tapping the pin button on the map. That's gonna allow you to hide that. And there's a new car wash mode that's updated um, with some part. If you do like taking your car wash or car through a car wash and not manually doing it yourself, this says car wash mode closes all windows, locks the charging port, and disables windshield wipers. Sentry mode, walk away door locks, and parking sensor chimes. For automatic car washes with conveyor belts, the free roll option shifts to neutral and prevents the car brake from automatically applying if you leave. To access, tap controls, service, car wash mode. And as you can see, that basically sums up what we have. In the actual vehicle itself, you can see how you'd start the light show. You'd simply press the button, you'd go outside, and the car will actually begin. I'm not going to do this right now just because it's early here uh, in Jacksonville, and my neighbors would not be too happy hearing this because it is pretty loud. So just keep that in mind, guys. Here's our boombox and all that we've had. <clears throat> you have, obviously... All your other additions here, they have updated the sleigh for the Santa sleigh a little bit. Um, and you can also obviously say spread holiday cheer year round with Santa mode or obviously right around Christmas time. With today being Christmas Eve, you can actually turn these on and say jingle all the way, <clears throat> let it play. And you can spread cheer outside by toggling that. So your speaker that we were just talking about for the megaphone and all that can be used outside. Here's that new game edition. Sonic, like we're saying, and you can see right here, it does require a game controller like we thought. In theater, you can see TikTok is here as well. So that is good to have. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. As you can hear, I have a little head cold. Just trying to shake that off. So you can see TikTok will load right here. And you can go about it however you want. Loaded pretty fast. We're not going to play that. We don't know what's going to pop up just out of safety precautions. <laughs> Obviously, our user interface, as you can see here, it has been the same on Model 11 or V11, I should say. And just to show you guys, finally, we are actually on V11. Definitely a nice little addition there as well. It looks like the map data is still not updated for the last uh, year or so. It's pretty interesting. It's still running a 2020.48 build, so... It's over a year old now. It's pretty interesting. Beyond that, obviously, like we said, if you want to go ahead and turn on, obviously, the uh, navigation when you're driving so you can have that pop-up window, you can do that for the turn signals. It is not enabled by default. As you saw, we just actually turned it on, and there was no pop-up. But yeah, don't want to ramble anymore. You guys get the gist. Obviously, the Model S has had the 
floating new navigation bar where you can kind of rearrange and drag your finger as you want. So we're not going to dive into this. We did it in one of our other videos on the channel, but stay tuned. Thumbs up this video. The Model 3 that we're going to be doing with the full self-driving version 10.8 and the new user interface in that might be a little more intriguing as well. So stay tuned. Make sure to catch that one and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.